All right guys, Coach Corey here with Jump TNT, and in this video, I'm gonna show you what happens when we take two vaults and put them together. So if you guys haven't already, I want you guys to go back and watch the Kong vault video, and I want you guys to watch the dash vault. So I start like a Kong, and I end like a dash, that's why it's called a cash vault. So to get started, what you're gonna do is you enter in into the monkey up position here. Then I'm going to transition into my seated position and then do my seated dash out. So all the way through, as I reach in this time, instead of actually touching my feet, I give that good strong block and then I'm gonna block again on the way out. So double tap, just like this. All right guys, let's stop right here. I wanna talk about this part because it's a little complicated. All right, so let's slow it down even more. I want you guys to take note of the transition. So as I reach in, just like the Kong vault, I wanna make sure that I give a good strong block here. It's gotta be strong enough that I can lift up and bring my hips forwards. And then when I'm on the other side, my hands will move along with my body and I use my hands to block one more time to launch myself into my dash. So I reach in, block, pull my hips through, and pull myself to the other side of the bed. All right, now that we understand that, let's take it back and let's look at it in full view. Reach in, tap, tap out. Some people use the cash vault as a stepping stone to learn how to do the dash vault. So if you're not comfortable with that, you can always use your Kong vault to help you get into those positions. Otherwise, this has been your cash vault. This is Coach Corey with Jump TNT.